Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian Envy, Strong Style, Cinephile, and The Flash. Let's geek about it first again in a few minutes because this episode was about choice on some levels because, as we saw from last week's episode, Caitlin Snow, well, Danielle Pennebaker is now playing a third persona because apparently there was multiple personas kicking around when her parents were doing their thing back then and experimenting on them and all that stuff that they did. So now there's a third persona. It is Snow. I guess, as I said before, maybe Panna Baker is like the new Tom Cavanaugh, where she, if the show was going to continue and this wasn't the last season, are we going to see like another, you know, side of, of Caitlin or Snow or whatever next season? Although this one is now called Keon, which, whatever. <laughs> who comes out as this total blank slate, has no memories, no anything, um, but has free will, has a personality, has an inquisitive mind, and wants to be the her own person, which we come to find out, because team finds out about what Mark and, and, and Caitlin were trying to do. This is apparently Caitlin's plan, and the idea is to bring Frost back. The machine doesn't work, because you can only bring one of them back. You can only either bring back Frost back, or you can bring back Caitlyn. Mark is, of course, wanting Frost. And Barry tells him of the, you know, because Barry's learned some things over the years. And Barry's learned that when you try to bring people back from the dead, when you try to do um, the wrong thing for the right reasons, um, he understands all that. So he's like, hey, work with us. We'll make this happen. We'll work together. We're a team and all that kind of stuff. But then, of course, you find out that if only one of them can be brought back. So the team has to make choices. The team is divided. And then they ultimately leave it up to Snow. Snow, at first, now Keon. See, this, whatever. Um, they leave it up to her to figure out. And she decides, no, I don't want to be put back in the pod. I don't want to be somebody that I'm not because I am a fully formed individual with thoughts and feelings and, and free will, most importantly, free will. So I get to choose. So she chooses not to go back in the pod. And then the pod gets destroyed. And then Mark is like, screw you guys. Next time I see you, Pied Piper, I'm going to kick your butt. Basically what he says. Because the other plot of this is a f new fiddler, not the old fiddler that we had when, you know, Ralph was still hanging around. The country sent, like, star fiddler. We have a new fiddler who was working with the Red Death, who was working with Captain Boomerang to get something off of Hartley. Turns out they want his gauntlets. And it's a powersome machine that I'm guessing the Red Death was in some sort of, because you only saw the Red Death before like vibrating and stuff like that. So maybe they're in this constant state of vibration and they couldn't get out of it to exist on this plane, exist on this, on this earth, on this reality, on this dimension, et cetera, et cetera. That seems to be fixed by the end of the episode because the Red Death makes this proclamation to the city that uh, they're going to pay basically for the Flash's crime or injustice against the Red Death, which, what is that? We don't know. For more knowledge, Barry has not encountered Red Death before. So we'll find out, I'm sure, as episodes go, maybe some flashbacks or whatever. We also had some indecision on the part of Cecile, who's like, still kind of stinging from Joe's declaration that he wants to leave Central City in the last episode, and Cecile is torn by that. She's like, how can you make me choose between my family and the well-being of the, the city? I'm just like, bro, like, it shouldn't be that hard for you to think about that. You, you've done seen all the other stuff that's happened. You got a new kid. You got this family. You're no spring chicken. I mean, I'm no spring chicken myself. Look at all this crap. But, like, Cecile is no spring chicken, so for her to just you know, want to run out there with a super suit and a code name, stuff like that. I think it's like, not everybody that comes on these shows, that comes through these shows, like needs to be out in the field. I want her to think about this and come to the decision that, you know what, I have powers, I'm a part of a super team, but you know what, I don't need to go out there and be another sidekick or, you know, another soldier in their army or whatever. Like, I'm fine not doing that. I'm really, really hoping that's what Cecile comes to, because that would be different from everything before, because like everybody that comes through that has powers, well, they got to put them to use with a code name and a super suit and all that. I just want Cecile to be like, you know what? Thinking about it, thinking about my husband, thinking about my kid, you know, that's not for me. 
deuces. We're going to leave the city. Like, that would be... I don't think they're going to go that direction. I really, really hope that's the direction that they go in. Because it would show just... It would show something different. It would show somebody acting differently. But it remains to be seen how it all plays out. And then, of course, we've got Chester and Allegra who are dealing with their fallout from the last episode where they kissed and Chester's like, hey, you want to talk about it? Lego's like, no, let's wait till everything is settled. Um, they're dancing with each other at the end of the episode while everybody else is dancing at Noah's at Hartley's club. Um, so I'm kind of wondering if that's kind of the sign that they're going to go in that direction or if we're going to get more episodes of like that will they, won't they thing that's just stupid where they're going to be like, well, we have, we're such good friends and I don't want to ruin that and yada, 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 but they're still pining for each other. And eventually, they'll, you know, just, we don't need to do that. We have 13 episodes. Like, let's, let's move it along, you know? But, I don't know. It was a fairly decent episode, I suppose. There was a lot of time just kind of sitting around talking, not really actiony, but I'm hoping that um, they're saving their budget and such for episodes like later on in the season and we can get a decent series finale because it's a series finale. So hopefully they're really kind of focusing some time and planning and effects on the season finale of the, or the series series finale to the flash and of course we have an episode episode nine with kid flash diggle and oliver are coming back hopefully they've set aside some good budgetary dollars for that so that can be a good episode remains to be seen we'll all find out together but um i just uh Nothing really bad I can say about this episode. It was decent, uh, if uh, kind of slow moving from the overarching plot side of things. But it remains to be seen kind of how things go with Mark. Is he going to go back to the dark side? He's going to try it because he said he's going to like go after uh, Hartley. So he's going to, you know, try to take him out. Is Hartley going to remain around as part of the team, or is this just a one-off for him? I'm hoping that he's not going to remain around because the cast is bloated as can be already. That's the biggest problem with this show, but, you know, it's been a problem for years, which I've said many, many times, but overall, decent episode. I'm curious about Red Death and what comes next. I'm just wanting to get basically to episode nine and <laughs> Diggle and Oliver and Kid Flash coming back, but it'd be cool to see uh, how Juicy Leslie does as Red Death and, of course, what exactly Red Death wants with the Flash. What perceived slight is there from flash to red death we'll all find out together but those are some of my thoughts on the episode scattered as they often are what do you guys out there think let me know in the comments below follow me on social media talk to me there talk to me here until next time let's keep